It looks like you've recently activated your Vivint Solar System. Congratulations! You're well on your way to a life of cleaner and more sustainable energy. Now that your system is up and running, we want to go over what to do if you're ever in a situation where you can't see your solar energy production. If you can't see your solar production data online, keep in mind that it's rarely an issue with the panels themselves. The problem could simply be due to an unchecked filter in an account center, or that your system has stopped communicating with your inverter, which could happen if it ever disconnects from the internet. Whatever the reason, we'll go through each potential problem and explain what you can do to fix it. Step 1. Check the production indicator in Account Center or the Vivint Solar app. If you can't see your production data online, it could be due to an issue with the way you've been viewing the data in Account Center or the Vivint Solar app. To check this, log into Account Center or the Vivint Solar app. For help with Account Center, check out the related links in the description. Locate the little circle just below the production graph next to the words production data. This circle allows you to toggle the production data on or off. The circle should be checked teal. If it isn't, click on it to toggle your production on. This will ensure that your production data is visible. If you're looking at the Vivint Solar app, tap Reports to verify that the circle is checked teal. If it works, your production data should appear. If your production data doesn't appear, it could be an issue with your internet connection. Step two, check your internet connection. We know this may seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how often the problem is with an internet connection. If you have a personal device like a smartphone or laptop, check to ensure it's connected to the internet. If it's not, that could be the issue. Have you recently updated your Wi-Fi ID or password? If yes, let's see if you can simply update the credentials online. In some areas, we've started testing out a new piece of equipment that allows homeowners to use the Vivint Solar app to update their Wi-Fi credentials online. To check if we installed this device on your home, download the Vivint Solar app and log in. Go to Settings and look for Wi-Fi connectivity. If you see it, tap on it. If your phone is already connected to Wi-Fi, the app will attempt to reconnect your system to your Wi-Fi automatically. If that doesn't work, select Choose a different network. Enter your Wi-Fi ID and password and select Connect. If you can't see the words Wi-Fi connectivity, it means we haven't been approved to install the device in your area. Not to worry though, just reach out to us and give us your new Wi-Fi ID and password. We'll send someone to your home to update your solar energy system for you. You could also try resetting your internet router. Your router could look like this, or this, or this, or something kind of like those, but they all work the same way. Unplug your router's power cable and plug it back in after 30 seconds. If your internet router is working properly and you're still not getting a signal, your internet service provider might be blocking the signal. Give your internet service provider a call. Step three, check your solar devices. It's possible that your disconnect or breakers were turned off by mistake. Find your AC disconnect. It looks like this. The lever on the side should be pulled up. If it's not, take care of that now. Look for your home's breaker box. It'll be outside near the AC disconnect or inside your home in a place like the garage or utility room. Make sure the breakers labeled solar are switched to the on position. This next part has to do with your solar inverter. So if you know where it's located in your home, you can skip this step and simply click the link to the corresponding troubleshooting video in the description. Step four, identify your inverter in preparation for troubleshooting. If you've ruled out the first two steps, the third thing to do is troubleshoot your solar inverter. The steps you take to troubleshoot your inverter will depend on the type of inverter you have. We primarily work with three different inverter manufacturers, SolarEdge, Enphase, and Fronius. If you already know the type of solar inverter you have, Click the link to the corresponding troubleshooting video in the description. If you're unsure what type of solar inverter you have, log into Account Center, click the Documents tab, click the CAD file, look for the word Inverter. Next to it, you should see your inverter type. For additional help with troubleshooting or to find answers to commonly asked questions about solar, check out vivinsolar.com help.